And there we go, the future Lord of the Reach, Franklin Flint. The car on the of car holds is a fabric claim in the north. Uh, that damn fool. Okay. End your plot, please. Yes, thank you. God, so many people have bloody plots. What's wrong with everyone? Can't everyone just get along? We don't like you then, I guess. Okay, Ramsey Pool offers to teach you a game called Cervase. Um, Cervase? Yeah, that he learned from some SEO merchants at the inn. Uh, you spend too much time with foreigners, you should know better. Yeah, I'm delighted to test my wits in this game. I'm delighted to test my wits in this game. I'm charitable, you know, and nice, gregarious. Then again, oh, I'm deceitful, so maybe I should have gone to the inn. Oh well, uh, thank you for stopping your schemes. You think you're starting to get the hang of Cervase. Ramsey wants to challenge you to a game. Of Coldstream. He's a pool, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it normally. See if we can win. Okay, thank you. You should have known better than to play Travis against the man who taught you everything you knew. Ramsey crushed you completely. Yeah. It was a good game. Kick the table in anger. I'm gregarious, so I understand, you know, what you should do in social settings. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Let's build something else. Uh, guard, militia training grounds, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Dragon pit. Hopefully in the future. Okay. I still haven't married her off. Uh, slightly worried about this now. No, I don't miss too much. Stop asking me. Did my brother actually have any kids in the end? No, he did not. Okay, so my t the two girls I have, the last Starks. Oh my god. So I just hit the mic there. Feels I risk too much my escapades. Okay, another guy. Ah, but we really need that dragon. It could mean everything. But he's insane. And they've married her normally again. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again, like I say, just because it would, you know, it would just ruin the game. <laughs> They should have been with their father anyway. Okay, now she wants to come. Hello there, um, whoever you are. She's not pregnant. Uh, yeah, welcome to um, Winterfell. Hopefully you find it much nicer than my other daughter's husband did. Damn it. Only 35% chance of success, that's not good. One thousand six hundred percent. Are you in? That is insane. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Two thousand three hundred. This this is invite her. There you go. Two thousand three hundred percent. This should be easy. Is there anything I need to look at? Uh, thank you. Now we have three thousand nine hundred percent. This will be so hard. Hope do not, you better not make my bloody daughter pregnant before. If he does, I'll be slightly angry. Uh, never inheritance. Ah. My lord, a local petty lord at the gates of Winterfell, requests an audience. He is claimed to have sailed to the far reaches of the Sunset Sea and back, and his tale the many wonders he has beheld. Let him in, I'll listen to his tales. Yes. He finally found his way home. Listen to his tales. Good news. My co-conspirator Arias let me know that Clayton Broom was soon of a tragic fall off the castle parapet. Fly to bird fly. Exactly. Just what we want. She better not be pregnant already. 
Thank God. Oh. Okay. Please die soon. Please die. I mean, that guy told me bloody Targaryen was going to die. Oh my God. Failure. The hired assassins did not get a chance to push Clayton Brune off the walls. And we're likely did not get another. At least the plot remains unknown. Let's just try again. Are oh, you freaking kidding me? We need this to succeed. Let's invite more people. Um, yes, you. You've been good to us. They summoned any kids and she's still got the celibate trait. God damn it. We really need to kill him. Please don't get pregnant. I'll be so annoyed. Okay. Okay, there we go. 42% now. That's, that's getting better. Okay. Oh, I should have read that, really. Oh, well. Please be dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Crossing my fingers now. Please be dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Success. The hunt the hunter did what was paid for and made sure Clayton never returned from the hunting trip. I know that feels like. Uh, he would keep quiet about his ghastly deed to save his own skin if nothing else. To hunt a man is truly the greatest sport. And now we have my daughter with us. Oh thank god she's not pregnant. <laughs> I was really worried I'll click on it, she just happened to be pregnant, like. Uh okay now we can marry off to someone who actually gained Matrilineal marriage. Uh, like I said, we were going to marry the Freys at one point. Yeah, we could marry her to him, but he won't accept matrilineal. Which is a shame. Okay, let's give someone else. We've got the Brackens now. Would always be. Then again, they're not so powerful. They've only got partial parts of the Riverlands. Because the Iron Islands have a bit. Uh, The Iron Lines would probably be a good one to join with. He's only got a daughter though. Jesus, he's in trouble. All his children are dead and the rest of his family, apart from her. Okay, wow. Not good for him. You had any kids? Okay, he's probably too young actually. Yep, too young. Always marry the Reach. Yeah, he won't marry Matchley Neil as well. Uh, the Stormlands is our best bet. They've got a lot of boys. Um, okay, are the Brackens? The Brackens as well would probably be a good choice. The Stormlines are probably more powerful. But then again, the Brackens are right there, just below us. Hmm. Plus, if we marry the Brackens, we get that cool little symbol by our family's names. By our family members' traits, Bracken. <laughs> hmm. Then again, she is more powerful, most likely. But then again, also... Uh, how many other family members does she have? Okay, quite a few. Yeah, a lot of those could cause trouble with successions. Huh. We used to make the best allies. We're going to Stormlands. At this point, I need to gain as much strength as I can. And that's getting the best allies. Berica Stagsfield. Uh, he's a twin of the oldest son. Okay. Machalini. Okay, there we go. Yep, let's do that. So we're going to make an alliance with the Stormlands. That'll be good for us. Hopefully, she'll still be young enough then. Uh... Nine years old, so we have to go up five years. She'll be 25. She should still be able to have a couple of kids. Um, if she can't, then that would be crazy. And she's a whore. Well, opposite of whore, really, but yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, one week claim. Okay, so we'd have to declare one the whole parameter of the Riverlands. Doesn't really seem worth it. Especially for Halton. I mean, why do I care? Ooh, she's got no eyes. That always looks lovely, those pictures without the eyes. <laughs> So it looks like the Dawn Parliament he's in Blackmont. Everything else is still the same. How the Greyjoys doing? Harren of Pike. 
Yeah, they're doing okay. Got quite a few children. Got a big family. Well, semi big family. Hmm. Literally, we're playing the waiting game there. Wait for my daughter to be able to marry the Targaryen to get the dragon. And my other child to wait for her, her husband to get old enough so that they can actually have a kid as well. So the line doesn't bloody die out. Because we need to get revenge. Yeah, plus I'm good friends with the Tullys anyway, so just, yeah, it's not a big deal if I'm friends with the Brackens. How old is he? Nine. They're going to get married about the same time then. Okay, interesting. Aenys is starting to get on a bit. 46 already, wow. And he is drunkard. And he's maimed. Wow. He's got a dragon's egg as well. Uh, Participate in the tourney of White Harbour? Hmm. I'm gregarious, so yeah, let's go. Chance to prove my worth. We haven't been to a tourney yet. It's interesting though, the Westeros is almost peaceful. It almost feels peaceful. Not much has happened for a long time. But that's because we're waiting. The storm is always silent before the big hit. Uh, God, everyone just wants a piece of me, don't they? Uh, guard quarters. Hmm. Small stable, training ground. Archery range, yeah, let's go with that. God, so many crimes. Now will you end it? No, still. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, Arnold Flint has been crowned the winner of Lady Bethany's Mandalay's Tournament. Yeah, he's okay. Seen better. Um, Ethan Norrie has been tragically killed during Lady Bethany Mandalay's Tournament. Wow. That's not good. Oh no. I need a snow bear. Ah. How unfortunate. Is it only the Northmen who get animals to follow them? Because it always seems to be Northmen. I know, but that's just me noticing that. Finally gave up on that bloody plot. Uh, Harwin Noy plays second in the Lady Bethany's Mandalay's tournament. Uh, okay. I'm sure that'll make up for his brother's death, of course. You know, I'm sure. Or whatever family member he was. Lord Horfrost Lightfoot plays third. Horfrost is a great name. <laughs> I'm sure every kid wants that name. He's a good fighter though, wow. The tourney ends and I failed to display my full prowess. I won a handful of tilts against low lesser men, but was soundly beaten in the later ties. The later list, sorry. It was shameful. That's not good. My friend Amy's invited me to a great, um, to a grand banquet. Why bother? I will reluctantly attend. Lots of people and lots of food. Good. Uh, I reluctantly attend. Oh, well there. Ooh, why? Okay, second vote against the King Aenys the Dragonfly. Prince always of the Iron Throne. Why is his own son? Wow. Uh, it's a point. Let me think. Denied. Interesting though. Why would his own son? Hmm. Seems a bit useless to me, but uh, whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> 